for coming and thanks for watching. Today I have two types of guests. Parents who want their kids to stop blaming them for all of their problems and grown kids who are finally ready to confront their allegedly deadbeat parents. Take a look at this. We tired of our parents not being there for us. Bill, please help us. Growing up was rough without my parents being there for me. My parents missed so many special moments in my life because they chose drugs over me. I didn't have anyone to teach me how to be a man. My mom and I had a terrible relationship. I don't want a relationship with my so-called dad, Kurt. He's a deadbeat and I hate him. When I was a teenager, my mom had me arrested and I sat in jail for weeks. She never came and got me. My older brother passed away and my dad say he hope I end up six feet deep too. I'm so sick of my mom saying I put so much to blame on her. Now that you know our story, Bill, you gotta step in and help us. We're gonna try. Please welcome Sharon to the show. Sharon, how you doing? All right. Sharon, why are you here today? I'm here today because my family is in a, uh, is a wreck. Just shattered. Plane is shattered. And me and my mom relationship is horrible. We are at a, a stage where we need help, and that's why I called you. Why, how did it begin? Because go back in time, describe your family situation as a little girl. What happened? As a little girl, um, I don't even remember living with my mom. My, I remember living with my grandmother. She took custody of us because my mom chose drugs over us. In fact, kids. your mom and dad were both on drugs, my mom and, and your dad. daddy was a drug dealer. <laughs> Yes. I don't know nothing about, remember nothing about my dad at all, besides me being grown. Guess what? He's here today. Okay. Uh, now, tell me about going, your mom rejected you, got rid of you. Tell me about that moment. My mom, when when my mom finally got me, I was in a group home. I was 17. I was already grown. So I felt like, what can you teach me? You missed the, the important things in my life as a little girl. So at 17, I go to Tennessee with her and have, um, I was very sick. She accused me of being Pregnant. pregnant. I took multiple pregnancy tests just to prove her wrong. But what was the medical thing you had going on? I had on? a fibroid tumor. A tumor? As big as a, a, moth, a, a, a golf ball. And your mother thought this girl, 17, pregnant. messing around with boys, she's pregnant, repeated, repeated, repeated pregnancy Thinking tests, I'm all of which are negative. Her history when I had my own. So you're here today with your mom to do what? What's the to goal? To tell her that I'm grown. I don't need you to be a mother, I just need you to be there. Show and prove. Like, be a, a grandmother now, as she claimed. Oh, that's what I live for. You live for your kids. That's what I live for, my child. So, so you had CPS. You mm -hmm. had foster care. Foster care. You had guardianships. Mm -hmm. You didn't have mom and a dad. They were into drugs big time heavy. Big in fact, time. your mom spent years and years on drugs herself. She was incapable of being a mother. Years, because I'm 17 when I see her. So, you, um, of course, I didn't, I don't, like I said, I don't remember being a child. Um, with my mom, I was a. Ch I, the only remember the thing I remember is being with my grandmother, and after my grandmother, a group home until I was seventeen. And then um, my mom tried to be a mom in Tennessee, but it felt like she was being my enemy. How are you going to give me a pregnancy test when you just starting to get to know me? What about the big fights you had and you ran away? <sighs> the fight I, we had, like I said, I don't. Know, it was small, but I don't even remember because my mom make it so big. I came to Baltimore. She claimed that um, when I came to Baltimore, she got me arrested. Your mama arrested. got, your mama got you arrested? Jail for she called week. the coppers on you? Me. For what? Run away. And Tennessee is some kind of law. But she didn't have to call, call the police. She knew where I was going. So she they got can't me put arrested the bracelets on you? In jail for weeks. For weeks, Bill. Without my mom, she never showed up. The police calling her to try to find her. I don't know where she is. She might have been getting on drugs again. And um, when she found, when I finally met, see my mom at the 17, it was a year later. I had a daughter, premature baby. She wasn't there. You needed your preemie. mama with you, Jordan. I needed my mom from the beginning, period. Please welcome Sharon's allegedly deadbeat mother, Rhonda, the show. Rhonda, come on out. tell you that you hurt me in my past and it affect my future. No, no, no. I, yes. What are you talking about? I was there. You I was, there I was there for I my was surgery at 17. I you didn't come there. get me until I was, there. I was 17. I was, I was grown. You what don't can you remember. Teach me at 17? You don't remember. 
But I could teach you a lot of stuff. Okay, so why you were you there when I had my baby? you want to be a, the mama. That's why you're nicknamed okay, mama. You but I got to be the mama because I was here. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Where were you when she was a child, mama? Where were you? I was there. I was there. I was there. I was there. I was there always. I provided from day one. I provided from day one. I got you. You wasn't there for me you like you favored, were supposed you to be. You favored your father. If I favored him, I, you're I all got to have a problem. I, I cleaned there. myself. Y'all was equal. I cleaned you myself. Was I laid beside y'all. I laid you beside y'all. Sit down and talk. Sit down and talk. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Now, now let me ask you this, Mama. Talk about the letter your daughter wrote when she was only 11 years old. What did she say to you when she was left? She, let's hear some issues from your she side. Come, I get her out of the group. I wrote room. a letter to she both of them. Both of them. Mama and dad. My dad was in jail. She comes to Tennessee and she wrote to me about him and I wrote her one too because they didn't know the truth. One at a time. She Just, came to Tennessee, left Tennessee and called me every name of the child of God in that letter. Then Didn't she, you deserve uh, it? Did you deserve it? No, uh, don't. You were your good mother. I didn't see after anything. a surgery, a, a major surgery. And I, I, I had my patient on it. I took it. What is that, Mr. Lester? Go ahead, Mama. This is Mama's turn. Mama's turn. They think that I'm supposed to be their financial bank, and I'm not. Financial bank? Because I wasn't there for three years. I admit I wasn't there for three years. I admit I wasn't there for three years. But I don't hold them because I got good. One time, one time, one. I got good. I cleared myself. I got clean, laying beside my kids and clean myself. No rehab. Lay beside your son. No rehab. Lay beside your son. No rehab. Lay beside your son. No rehab. The, the authorities took your children away from you, correct? No, the authorities didn't take my kids the, away. GPS uh, took my kids away. And the relative took my kids away. What about her being in a group home? I went to the group home and got them from Tennessee. Where I came down from Tennessee one time and got my daughter. Because How did you react when you got that letter? How did you react, Mom? I knew she had ran away and I called the police. And I said, And then you got her locked up. Yep. And then where was she when yep. the police called her? Up. No way. Why away. didn't you visit her in she jail? She ran away. Why did First of all, like she said, I used. I admit to it. That's how you do. When you changing your life, you got to admit to your wrongs. And I admitted to it. I went and put, um, called the police what I supposed to did. She left what my I was house. What's oh, 11 years old? She left my house. 11 I'm trying years to get old. My, 11. I'm trying to get my life together so I can provide for mine. My daughter run away. I'm, I'm dropping everything to come and I'm calling. I'm crawling. I'm not crawling. Not I'm not crawling. Not I'm not crawling. Not I'm crawling. Right there. I'm going back to my right there, man. That's right. I'm going to get my baby. I'm going to get my baby. Don't let someone take me in a jail hole and sit there for me. That's what you did, Mama. She know where to be found. To offer what? And to where they find the at. Mama, right. where they found at my at? relative house. What no. do you want to see happen? No. They got me from jail. The police until I was you up. Hold on, what are you law? Mama. Breaking what law? Run away yeah. from a mother that wasn't no, there? No, from breaking the law. No. That's right. why they locked right. you up. We're, we're now we're years past that. A lot of water's gone over that dam. What do we do now? What's your relationship with your dad right now? My relationship with my father is long distance. I love him dearly, just the same as my mom. And he calls me every day. I had to call my mom to, call, to start a conversation. You have a good relationship with, with, with my, my dad, dad and, and no relationship with your mom. What do you want to see happen today? I want my mom to make effort for me and her grandbaby, not just your grandbaby, because you live for me and her now. All right, let, let's talk about one other very sad incident. We've got to open up another chapter right now because you had a son uh, who was murdered, correct? Yeah. Very sad. Many times these events bring a family together. Sometimes they tear a family apart. What happened at the funeral of this son that was murdered? Well, um, I, I did what I had to do and pay for his funeral. I paid for the funeral, me and my husband. See, and that's another Nobody thing. else. She did something. Kurt we did all nothing. did. I got on she, Facebook. He lived with her and he lived with me, too. My son. She, she lived with me. She didn't get credit for that. She, she lived with me with her baby. With her grown wife and father didn't take care of him. They stayed down there. My son passed. See, she said she did it all. He had a wife. But she took her his wife over my son. Where was the boy's father during the funeral? He was... M.I.A. M.I.A. And he come down here and didn't put give Missing me a dime towards the funeral and left before the funeral. All right, let's do this. We have a lot more coming up from other family members, including Daddy is here to talk about his son's death, what he did at the funeral, and his relationship with his kids. Stay right there. A lot more coming up.
My right. son, we just got him a headstone. He's been gone two years before. And he could have called me and offered me a dollar. We don't need nothing from him. He know that. He know how I live. I don't need nothing from him. My father has choked, and he has been there. She defends him, but I'm there all the time. Rhonda is ready to forgive her deadbeat dad. Are you sitting up here and some John telling these people all these lies? But mom can't forget. We I'm trying to be a better person. You are trying to me. You don't miss this bitter battle. We talk on Facebook. Let him talk. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I made arrangements to come down for the front row. I had some money to uh, help out with the front row, but I wasn't I wasn't putting no money in in, in that mom hand, knowing she was using drugs. I wasn't doing it. Uh, let me ask you this, Rhonda: What is your relationship uh, with your ex, Kurt, at the present time? He's nothing to me. He's nothing. But you no. made babies with him, right? And When's the last time yeah. you saw him? Like five years. Five years. Five How many years. babies did you two have together? Four. Four. Four kids. We got two of them here today. Right. Sharon, when's the last time you saw your dad? Um, two years ago at my wedding. Did he? He went to the wedding. Yeah. Why has it been two years? House. Um, because, I, like I said, our relationship ain't perfect. After you do your job for me, you can go home. That's it. Mm -hmm. And is it fair to say that mom and dad were both into drugs for a long period of time? Mama, is that true? You were in the world of drugs? I was into drugs. Yes, long. I was. For like 13 years. 13 years? Yeah. And are you still into that I'm life? I'm clean. Since You're clean. Since clean. But you say Kurt is a deadbeat. Yes. He Why is. is Kurt, the biological father of this show, why is he a deadbeat? Since day one, heaven, after I had my kids, I had to bribe him to come and bring something for my kids. I feel I had to make promises to him to bring My father has my shows, kids. and he has been there to show us more care and love. That's what I'm talking about. She defends him, but I'm there all the time. I'm defending I'm him I'm the one today, that call when they want something. But I did not defend him I'm the in one the past. That, I defend that him with today the because he showed I'm the more one that did it. Was she not was him. He couldn't She's always taking tux. his side of the He face. couldn't even get the tux. Why wouldn't I take his side now when he showed me he cares and loved me? He calls me every day. Please welcome Sharon's dad and Rhonda's ex, Kurt, to the show. Kurt, come on out. You know what? You sitting up here. You sitting up here. Dad, you know, Sean, telling these people all these lies. Sean, telling these people all these lies. You come down to Tennessee. You ain't saying no come down to Tennessee. He's going to be a friend to me. What's your name? 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 Right I wouldn't give you jack. Take it to the front You and your boyfriend. Your son house. last Man, week get out of my was face. to be Man, buried in the funeral home of his choice. You, and I made you sure lucky, you lucky I'm trying to be a better you. person. You are trash to me. You know what? You are trash so to me. So be. Right you mean to nothing. Me. Right you mean you nothing to me. Right now. 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 Right we, we want to move from this point forward. Let's get one thing on the table and let, let the man talk. Why talk to so me about angry? the funeral. Well, Alleged Are you nervous? Hold on, honey. The lies catching up to you now. Are you trash. Honey, I wasn't now. Tell she me about trash. the past. I wasn't now. Tell you me. Know. Let, talk. Talk to me. You, what, what like, like, like she said, if I ain't had no money or nothing for them, you know, 
I couldn't see my kids. I kick in the door to see. But how she say she? I kick in the door and say. Let had me talk. You know, you admit to you bribe me with sex. Let me ask one question. Yeah, I am. I'm happily married sex. right now. My wife know about all of my life, everything. Class and pro. Oh. Kurt, talk to me about the funeral of your son that was murdered. Let's deal with that issue, and then we're going to move on, honey. We got, another, we got another. We got another. We got another son coming. The reason I didn't stay for the funeral because they was holding his body. They didn't know how to bury him. I wasn't putting no money but in there. You're in a situation. We had to raise the money. had to raise the money. I, I, I had so a life. But you should have stayed. I, I feel you should have stayed. Talk about the thousand dollars. Everybody else. Mama, home. I, you mama, I couldn't tell my son to stay. You why you couldn't stay? You stay for your son's funeral. What wow. happened to the thousand dollars? Your first son. Did you party boy. without money, first or did you boy. give it for the funeral of your boy? What Man, happened? You know what, Bill? Let I me take talk. a lie detector test. I, I don't. What I, what I, what I don't go out to clubs. I don't drink. I got I don't you get on out. Facebook at the I club. What you do with you a thousand? Who on Facebook at a club? I got you on Facebook. At I the bet club. you. I bet you. Don't you, you ain't got Kurt at no club on Facebook. You at the club. I bet you, Don't Donut. Have you ever seen me on Facebook? We talk on Facebook. Well, let him talk. I talked to him on Facebook. To, to show you, show us. Right, hold on. Let's do this. I want everybody to stop just for a moment. Kurt, I got a question. I went to the front. Now, Kurt, look at me, man to man. You admit a lot of wrongdoing in the past. I did. You know what? And I you want to do better. Be Don't you want to do better? I was a True. deadbeat Ain't dad, but I want a no relationship. Graduation. Hold up, hold up. No I want a relationship with no my kids. Nothing. But let me say something. Please. I want a relationship with my kids. Talk to her. Talk I want a her. relationship with y'all. Talk. Now let okay? it, that, that father and daughter talk. Nine times out of ten a day, I'm, I came here to the tremendous relationship. If I get a relationship with you, it was well worth the trip. Okay? Is there hope for and your thinking dad? About, yes, hold hope up. For him, I love I her because that's their son. mom. And you gonna respect em. the grounds I walk on, and I'm gonna make sure that. You know sure what? I tell you what, I will I'm respect the sure grounds you walk on. You yes, I will. You ain't Let got no yes, choice. I will. Guess so what? We have Kurt's son her coming, her coming up. A lot more family her drama. Her already, Stay already, right there. Already know what's going on. And you haven't seen this this boy in two years. Do you want to see him now? You want to try to resolve this? Another child. More deadbeat drama. Everything you say out your mouth is a lie. I'm telling you, get out my face. I'm going to break your job, boy. You won't believe what happens next. The next time you threaten me, you can't do whatever. You think about killing relationship going on. Ain't no relationship at all with my father. No matter what he does. No matter. I'm, I don't want no relationship. Do, do what you gotta do for my kids, not me. I don't want no relationship with you. None. Today is gonna be an attempt to have a resolution of a long-standing family feud that's been going on for a long time. Kurt, you came here to have a relationship with your daughter. And that we made a small step. And the first step is acknowledgement of wrongdoing. And you acknowledge it, and, and your ex acknowledged it. What is your relationship like with your son Rodney right now? I haven't spoken to my son in two years. You haven't spoken to him in two years. Why? Um, you know, I was. It's, it's, it's probably got a lot to do with the with me not being there for the front row. You know, for the for the viewing and all that. You know, the services. But, uh, you know, I, I called him and asked him to be the best man at my wedding. That's another issue. And, we got um, the funeral issue, in which is an allegation that you didn't pay the money, the $1,000 allegation used for parting, and now you want the well, best man. You called him to be the best man at your wedding, and as I understand it, you said you'd take care of the airline ticket, yeah. and then you didn't. You know why I didn't? You know why it never happened? Why? For the simple fact that he thought I was supposed to send his ticket when he wanted it. I had bills and stuff to pay for. I had the rest of my wedding to pay for. I was going to fly him in there. I was going to fly him in, fly him back. And, it, and didn't pay Rodney... For it, play, pay for his tux and everything. Didn't Rodney time. threaten your life? Yeah. Tell, your boy threatened yeah, well, to kill you. Yeah, well, he told me if I come to Baltimore, he's going to have me killed. That was a joke. To me, it was a joke. And you haven't seen this, this boy in two years. Mm -mm. Do you want to see him now? You want to try to resolve this? I want to resolve it, but he might not want to resolve it. Let's I'm all right with that. I have it go. She wants a relationship with her no, kids. Here no, we go. Mine's Please mine. welcome Sharon and Kurt's son, Rodney, to the show. Rodney, come on out. Do everything.
every everything you telling out, everything you saying out your mouth is a lie, and yeah, you know it. Get out my everything, face. everything you saying out your mouth is a lie. I'm telling you, get out my face. You gonna break your job? You gonna do nothing? You better go ahead, nigga. My mama better go ahead, nigga. My mama better go Hold on, Daddy, sit down. Everything you saying is a lie. You know. All right, everything's a lie. Everything. Let me hear from Ronnie. It's all right. It's all right. First time Ronnie's here. At the end of the day, my life still gonna go on. Hold on, Daddy. The journey in my life still won't continue. Daddy, let me hear from Ronnie. I wanna hear from Ronnie. I love you. I love you. Regardless of how you feel, regardless of how you feel about me, I want a relationship for you. And you don't want nothing to do. Okay, then it's Let me talk. Enjoy your life. Let me talk. Let me talk. Enjoy your life, bro. Hold on, too. All right. Enjoy your life. I'm good with it. I want you to calm down. Everybody, I want to spend time with Ronnie. Ronnie, you got to get the fuck out of here. Hold on. 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 Or sniffing dope. Yep. Are you a little bit like like I'm father, like yeah. son? Didn't you get lost in drugs a little bit yourself? I mean, I, I, I did all right. An, an example. You got the yeah, example. But I, I mean, I it. only kids only do what they see. Lies. Or, or kids only do what they see. That's why right now I'm trying to set an example for, for my for my kids. You don't take I mean, care not out for jail. I don't, you don't care not out of for jail. Listen, I don't talk to every day. Look, hey, Bill, I'm in college, right? I just finished technical school. I'm certified for body. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to break the cycle that that this low like this sperm donor. You know, you don't call him dad, do you? He don't deserve that word. A lot more coming up. Stay right there. Family divided. So you, you have greater feelings for your dad than he for your mom. Your you have greater feelings for your mom than for your dad. A family at war. Smack you just for just you ever think about putting your hand on me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Will the feud end today? I wasn't never there, but I love my kids. I miss my son. Do you feel dissed by your own mother and don't know why? Do you feel like she doesn't love you? We want to hear your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. She has a really great eye for fashion, and I never pay full price. That's why I told you that when I had your no first child. You're going to no respect century. the ground I walk on for the Man, rest of my life. I'm going to be you that number what? one for the rest. Yeah. I don't care who you marry. That's, that's I'm you, the number one, you want, and you're going to respect that that's for the rest you want, of your life. That's you should you apologize. Want, your that's first that's child, that's you gave him nothing forever in his whole life. What? about family drama that needs to be resolved. We have the kids here. Rodney and Sharon. Let's go back in time. As I understand this, you two had a horrible, horrible childhood. drug addicts, drug dealers, pushed off to relatives, foster care, CPS, jail, father in jail, mother not present, terrible. 
And then you finally, as an adult, try to get back in their lives. And then we got the funeral issue. We got the wedding issue. In which your dad, you two have to deal with the murder of your brother. And nobody cared about that. Nobody cared. And we got the funeral going on. And then dad shows up supposedly with the money. But the money doesn't hit the table. The money goes somewhere else. And so now you have a stepfather. You call dad and not... Right. Not Kurt, who is your dad. But the fact that you're here tells, and you're threatening to murder your dad. It, it, that, it, it all stemmed from something totally different. What is it? Like let's, he, let's go he, find He said, all right, first off, my, my little sister, I love her to death. She making it seem like, like my mother ain't, you know, I was born on her birthday. They try to say she made me, her you know, favorite. her favorite. Her but favorite. But it, it ain't that. My mother, my he mother had. my mom more than she I was. Used, her she girl. used, but she, she, no, my, my mother, she used. My father, he still do he, till no, his don't. day. No, it don't. He still you two don't get along either. No we, we ain't no, tight like we used to. At the end of the day, like I you said, Bill, her. that's, yeah, that's you my yell little at her? She, I ain't, I'm a big brother. But, but don't you love your dad? Nah. He you might, know. He, I mean, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. But at the end of the day, of like, if you want the title as a father, as a as a dad, as you know, somebody that's supposed to be in my, I, you don't you don't get that title because you've never been there. Let me deal with a terrible. You know, I had a really bad relationship with my dad. When I was 12 years old, he left. I never saw him again the rest of my life. Terrible relationship. But one thing he never said to me is, Billy, I want you six feet under. When your dad said to you, I want you six feet under like your dead brother, how'd that make you feel? I told him straight. It, it made me feel like, what, why would you say that to your, your, what did your he say? only son? He did it to hurt you. Dad, I and then you dad, threatened to I'm, kill I'm him. Saying, I didn't. I, I made a threat. Like, all right, pretty you much. Didn't mean that. You don't mean that. At the end of the day, like I said, he made me. That's my father. But at the end of the day, once you said that to me, I told you no, you're another dude in the streets right now to me. Look, you don't mean nothing to way. me. You this did is the, to me. This I'm the, dead to you. This is the Bill you Cunningham. Lost two sons. This is the Bill Cunningham show, but Rodney, this is your life. At the end of the day, we want to help and not cause problems. I'm, I'm you good, came Bill. here for a reason. I'm good. Oh, Rodney, you I'm came good here. What do you born. want from your dad? Since what do you nothing. want? No, nothing. nothing. Since my kids been born with. The stuff my father bought for them, he tried to steal it, he tried to steal it back. I don't know about that, but he, he bought tried, it What have he things, done with, and he kept with it? She got it still. He he came to my graduation, right? Your step when step. I was in prison, I call him if I don't get my mother on the phone. I call him, look, daddy, I need a couple dollars. Or, daddy, can you put some more money on the phone? First thing he do, he don't ask no questions or nothing. I can't well, get, in, on, I can't get in touch with my sperm donor. He helped me get my car on the road. I need it fixed. I need a detail. He do that. Like, at the end of the day, Bill, I'm 28. Right? right? Let's do this. I don't ask. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to begin with Sharon. Sharon, what do you want to see happen today? Can today be the first day of the rest of your life? With, with your mom, with your dad, and with your brother. This is a family unit that's been shattered by misbehavior. I want us to get back close how we was. Tell I mean, them. Tell them. It's working. Was, like, it's, it's cool. This, this yes. is working. But you, you know, got to open up a little more cool. to me as your little sister, how we used talk. to be. When I was six, but you mama, down, do your mama, hand for you. Right. We would talk. But mama, we would, I would even be I your wing, man. Listen, so y'all. Listen. Listen. You see this? You still is. But how can I, I be, I don't want to just be your wee man. I right, want to be you, around listen. you. I want you to come call me and say right, I'm on my way over your house. I work and I, I go work. to school, mama. I work. I work I and I go to school. I work, I go to school. I'm a mother. This when I was, all right, but you got to think about this when I was smoking work, and drinking and, and we cool. But son, now but I, I, I go to school and I work, mama. I want him to be close to my daughter, how we was. Here my mom was born. All right, Rodney and Sharon, let's go one at a time. And briefly, Take Rodney, what do you want today from your biological parents? What do you want? I, my and my mother, man, my mother, we good. She just but your talk. dad, she you're just, done. She's dead tell, to you. Yeah, your dad she is, just, now, what do you want from much. your biological parents? I want my mom to stop trying to raise me and be a friend now because... It's, Mom, it's no way you can raise a grown woman. What about your dad? I want my dad to be continue to be consistent. He's not going your to do dad, it. Your dad. So, so you, you have greater feelings for your dad than he for your mom. You have greater feelings for your mom than for your dad. Let's get them all back together and see what happens. Stay right there. Get them all back together. <laughs> I wasn't giving it to you. I wasn't giving it to you. Why did you take it to the funeral home, low life? I wasn't giving it to you. Why did you take it to the funeral home, low life? Why did you take it to the funeral home, low life? I told you I'm low life, pal. Take it to the fune
Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Rodney should get over the past to work on a relationship with his father, Kurt? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answer and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. Two siblings face their deadbeat parents. Where were you when she was a child, Mom? Where were you? I was there. I was there. You there for me like you and two parents pointed fingers at each other. You hey, ain't built well, right there. We killed my you son. Killed them. Mom. You killed oh, yeah. them. You killed them for not being oh, yeah. there. Can this family be put back together today? Oh, if you don't want a relationship with me, I'm okay with that. At the end of the I'm day, I'm okay I with that. I'm okay with that. Today's about family drama and how to resolve it. And Kurt, everyone's agreed to let you have your say. You're the father. What do you have to say to your kids? What do you have to say to your ex? No, I know I, I wasn't never there, but I love my kids. I miss them, so. Do you, have a you sense know, every, everything that was said all. You have a sense of guilt and wish you could go back and redo it, don't you? If I could, I would do it the right way. You could go back in time. You know, a couple things as a father myself. You cannot rewrite one word of what's happened in the past, but you can change all the tomorrows that are ever going to exist. You know, I ain't the and, same and if you person can be, I used to be, Bill. I want to thank my daughter different. for doing this, man. I She's really the one need, that brought everybody here. I really need Our this. mama, the one who always try to get us back together. I, I love my Kurt. son. I don't think I want something left, but... Look at your I son, love, Rodney. Just he, listen. He can, just he listen. can go ahead with his life. I mean, he don't want no relationship, so I'm, I'm all right. To. You I'm know, I'm all to. right. I'm good. You know, I'm all I'm right. Good. I get it. Like I I'm tell right. Rod, I'm good. He's I'm the right. child, he's the father. Every, every, every don't thing, stop he's fighting he's for his every kids. Every That's what you get up there quick. I want to hear from Rodney. It ain't nothing like that. What you preach? Only thing I want to say. Everything I want to say. Every day a hug. I want him to be a better father, way better father than I was, to take care of all of his kids. That's right. What I came to do. Already knew, already told her on the phone. I said it might not work with me and my son. I told her that. I said, but if me and your relationship grow, I'm okay with it. All right, I don't need to. I want to hear from Rodney. Rodney, you said something offset, and I think it was very profound. Look at your dad. Dad. Here's you tried to you brainwash this. pretty much all of them. Here we go. Hold on, Rodney. What? With love? Rodney. He was I brainwashed him with love. At the end Lately, of the day, Rodney. At the end of the day, that's why I like that. You know what? I love him anyway. Every day. I love him anyway. Honey. But I, I be, I be, I be, I be. If I'm gonna let you or him hurt me, you trash. That won't. Well, I be trash. I want to have a moment with you. I'm gonna go home and be trash in my house, chilling, full of joy. Hold on, Rodney. Rodney wanted a man. Hold on, hold on. Rodney You've wanted a with moment. Men on Facebook. That's a man. Rodney wanted a moment with yeah. his dad. Rodney, yeah. what do you have to say, Rodney, to your dad? Yeah. Hold on, I'm Rodney, not, hold on, I'm honey. Not, what? I'm not paying that dude no mind, I know you know. Son, what do you, what do you say to your father? It ain't I'm nothing. Not. Like I said, I love my little sister to death, both of my sisters. Brother, rest in peace. Love you to death. Mom, Dukes, you already know what it is. And ain't really nothing. I, like I said, do, don't do, don't, it ain't even about me, man. Be, be there right, from, like, build a relationship with your grandkids, my kids. Build a relationship with them, you feel me? 
everything else is pretty much dead with us. Like, I don't want you in my life. I ain't Good. miss, like, everything I've done. Let it go. Let I've it go, then. You accept pretty, that? At, at the end I of the did. day, you accept it. No more death threats, I'm both sides nothing. done. I'm okay with it. All right, Sharon, I want to thank you for bringing this family here. Thank you. I think we made some small steps. What about you and your mom? That relationship is right here. We have a lot more coming up. Stay right there. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google Plus. Or follow me on Instagram. Because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. Do you feel dissed by your own mother and don't know why? Do you feel like she doesn't love you? I'm Sean Faber, take them all the way around and treat us all equal. We your kids. On today's show, my guests have accused their parents of being lifelong deadbeats. Here to help, relationship expert and author of Good Enough Mother. Renee Seiler, the show. Renee, how you doing? Hi, hey, Dad. You know what? Can I just um, say what well, he apologized? You know what? To, I just want to know what was that for? What, what were you apologizing for? You know, for everything, for my son being past, me never being there. You know, I apologize for all that. So that's and just I a blanket. That's a blanket that's apology. A, that's a. That's Do you a wait? Do wait. Let, listen. That's up to Are you going to accept that? I told him I want an apology. For my, my son didn't have insurance. I had to struggle. To okay, I understand that. Would you just stop for two seconds? He just gave you a blanket apology. Can you accept that? I accept it. You you do you do accept that? All right. That's okay. one. That's one. We made a little bit of progress. Okay, because I think that's important. It takes a very big person to say, "I'm sorry, I made some mistakes." It takes a very big person to do that, and especially on television in front of a bunch of strangers. So I have to give you credit for that. I have to give you credit for accepting that. Because that's very, very important. Because now you guys have, instead of rehashing what's happened, you have to figure out how can you move forward. I spent the, the better part of an hour listening to everybody talk about everything that happened years and years and years ago. And not one person looking for how we're going to move on from here. And how does really father and son move on? Because I sense maybe it's over, and that's not necessarily yeah. a bad thing. I was just going to say, I, I think that when he said, forge a relationship with your grandkids... That's and good. you said, I, he's, you don't want him in your life? And he said, I'm okay with that? I think sometimes that's it. That's just the best you can do. This situation doesn't look like it's ever going to be great. So why would you continue to be together and just irritating each other? Kurt, can you work? do that? Because I sense Rodney is at that place now. He's done with you. Wants nothing to do with you, but and, and a magnanimous gesture. He wants you involved in his Absolutely. children's life. Your grand, are, you, are, are you okay with the fact you're going to leave this stage? shake his hand and that's it uh, are you I good with that I, you know you know what you know i apologize to him too but i don't Tell you him. know right now right now he don't want no handshake from me and i'm okay with that too yeah. but i will be in my grandkids life i talk to them I on a regular basis they need to be close you know? right they and i know you okay are you okay with are you okay with, with him walking out of your life for, are you okay with that could i ask I'm, her the question yeah 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 why yeah. did it take coming on there to, to, to say that to, to want to do because it because fridge wouldn't hear him out no he to wouldn't one, hear him wait, 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 she has a question about the grandkids. wait let, let, let him answer grand. let him answer let me answer your question go ahead kurt i tried to call you twice when? what did your daddy calling me for Daddy, what you want? Don't call me no more. Okay, so how? Don't have the kids. Wait, Renee, get wait, control out wait, there, wait, which I couldn't do. Get we're control. We're doing the same thing again. We are we're rehashing what happened in the past. See, uh, I now, wait, 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 wait. with this man 20-something years. But, but can I know his history. Run, hold on. Like his Renee, first and last people change. change. Wait, people change wait. every day. Oh, okay. So let him, he apologized. Girl, now he's saying, it. you asked him a question. All you got to do is let him answer. Don't interrupt. Just let him answer. He started to answer why it's taken so long to get to that point where he felt comfortable saying, I'm sorry. But why was that? Wait, I still, this, I still don't know the answer. I still don't know the answer. let's do this. <laughs> this family has lost a son and they've lost a brother. He's underground and he's murdered. Right. The goal today is not to have murdered relationships in the future Absolutely. during the living years with the living members. And hopefully today we've come to a conclusion 
Not necessarily what every party intended, but a good conclusion. This family can move on, and in the memory of that dead brother, in the memory of that dead son, think about your present relationships during the living years. Was think about that. Be together. He would he not want you to do that. Together. He would not want you to be like this. Your dead son and your dead brother would not want this relationship all, left behind. Bill, he what, stayed with me. Like he told me his he last words. He, he wanted all, all of us to be together. Did you hear what I said? He wouldn't even expect that he could put nothing for that. If you don't know what he expected, When we continue, it's the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, or follow me on Instagram, because you don't want to miss a minute of the backstage drama. It's unedited, unfiltered, and unbelievable. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Rodney should get over the past to work on a relationship with his father, Kurt? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. Abandonment and neglect are two words that should never be associated with parenting. So here's the bottom line. Every child deserves a parent that provides comfort and care around the clock 24-7. The absence of those essential elements often lead to rage and resentment, as we've seen today. But if you want to build a bridge to the future between you and your mom and dad, don't let your anger in the past lead the way. As difficult as it may be, show acceptance and forgiveness. It may not be the easiest way, but I guarantee you it's the best way. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. to show me you cared or 20s, what, 8 when, when he was living that you cared and you ain't not one time showed it. My, me and my dad, I feel it's okay. Now I just he continue to call and show love and, and hey, I'm cool with that. Damn, me and, my, me and my little sister, we good. She just, it just been, you know, I just been you know, focus on other things, and she gonna always be my little sister regardless. Me and mom, that's my heart, and the other, my sperm donor, that's all he is.